Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So this is the last video on the unit number three. That is recording the day-to-day -day transactions in Tally ERP. This is the topic of this unit number three. Already five videos I have completed. This is the sixth and the last video on this topic. Last video I have explained you about the payment voucher and the differences between credit note voucher and debit note voucher. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting, watch the earlier videos, definitely you will get a lot of command by watching these videos. So before starting this video, take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I will explain all the points in detail. Come on. First point. The first question is how to use journal voucher to record the entries. So first of all, you must know what is journal voucher, why it is used. So it's a special form of journal. It's a special form of journal where the adjustment entries, rectification entries, transferring entries these will be recorded. There is no receipt or payment or any outside dealing. All internal adjustments will be done in journal voucher. So journal voucher is in F7, function 7, function key 7. This will be used for journal voucher. So journal voucher is used for adjusting of two ledger accounts. The adjustment between two ledger accounts will be done through journal voucher. Here there is no involvement of outside parties like debtors or creditors or branches etc. No dealing with the outside parties, only internally adjustment between two ledger accounts. That adjustment entry between two ledger accounts can be done by using journal voucher. The, these vouchers are specifically used for adjustment entries, <clears throat> rectification entries, closing entries etc. Simple example, depreciation. Depreciation is a non-cash transaction in which two accounts will be affected. One is depreciation and the other is asset account. So these two accounts, we will adjust it. So this depreciation is an adjustment entry which will be passed through journal, journal voucher. And rectification, sometimes if errors are committed, to rectify that errors again an entry is required. That entry will be passed again through journal voucher. Then closing entry, opening entries, all these things will be done in journal voucher. This journal voucher is used for non-cash transaction. <clears throat> no cash transaction, only non-cash transactions will be passed through journal voucher. To get the journal voucher screen, the below steps should be followed. If you want to open the journal voucher screen, the following steps. The first step as usual, go to gateway of tally, then select accounting vouchers because we are dealing with vouchers to open accounting vouchers. Then click on F7 journal voucher. So remember the keys. F7 is the key for journal voucher. Then example. So these are the steps, three steps you have to follow to open the screen of journal voucher. Now example, depreciation charge on machinery and furniture 25,000 rupees and 8,000 rupees. Example, we have to provide depreciation on machinery and furniture. So depreciation on machinery and furniture can be done through journal voucher. Right? Now, to create journal voucher for this entry, one should first create ledger accounts for depreciation, machinery and furniture. Without having ledger accounts, we cannot pass an entry in journal voucher. So before passing entry in journal voucher, you must have the ledger accounts. In our example, three accounts are affected. One account is depreciation, the other account is machinery 
and the other account is furniture. So before passing the entry for adjustment of depreciation, we must open three accounts. So the three accounts depreciation, mercenary and furniture. Once these three accounts are created, the journal voucher can be created. So after creating the ledger account, then only we can make the journal voucher. That's it. So in examination, short questions will be asked like this. How to use the journal voucher? So simply, these are the points you have to write. Now, how to use contra voucher to record the transaction? First of all, you must know contra. Contra means a transaction which affects both the sides of the account. Sometimes we use multiple accounts in one ledger itself, like cash and bank. So cash account and bank account normally will not be kept separately. Only in one account we open cash column, we open bank column. In that case, if a transaction occurs between cash and bank, that entry will be called contra entry. The entry which affects on both the sides of one ledger account, debit side as well as credit side. So here in ERP, tally ERP, we have the function called contra journal, contra voucher, sorry, contra voucher. So contra voucher is given in F4, function key 4 is for contra voucher. So contra voucher performs transfer of funds between cash and bank accounts. Transfer between cash and bank account. That means when we deposit the money in the bank. Similarly, when the uh, withdraw the money from the bank for office use, these are called contra entries. The following contra vouchers have the following vouchers can be done. Deposit of cash into bank. First example when contra voucher is required. The contra voucher is required when cash is deposited in bank. Similarly, withdrawn of cash from bank. When we withdraw the money from the bank, again we use the voucher, contra voucher. Third, transfer of funds from one bank to another bank. Suppose a business may have different banks. So if there is a transfer of funds from one bank to another bank, again we can make use, contra. Last one, transfer of cash to petty cash. Suppose if a business maintains petty cash, so any transfer from cash to petty cash, we may use contra. So these are the four examples where we use the voucher, contra voucher. To get contra voucher creation screen, the below steps should be followed. Three steps, as usual, first step, go to the gateway of tally. Second, select accounting vouchers. And third, click on F4 for contra voucher. So example, here I have given the example for contra. Deposited cash 10,000 rupees into syndicate bank. So deposited cash in the bank, it is a contra. So this deposited of cash into syndicate bank will be passed in contra voucher. That is F4. Now, to create contra voucher for this entry, one should create first the ledger account for syndicate bank and cash account. Without opening the ledger account, we cannot pass the voucher. We cannot, we cannot enter into the voucher. So contra voucher can be entered only when we have the ledger accounts. So if this transaction is there, we must have two accounts. One account is cash account. The other account is syndicate bank account. So first you open these two accounts, then only you go to contra voucher to enter the transaction. Now to create contra voucher for this one should create ledger account for syndicate bank and cash. So how to create the ledger account already in so many problems we have seen how to open a ledger account. To create, to create a ledger account step one go to gateway of tally. Step two select accounts info. Because we are creating the ledger account. We are creating the ledger account. That's why account info. Then step three, click on ledgers. Then click on create. So four steps you have to apply to create the account, ledger account. Once the ledger accounts are created, the contra voucher can be entered. That's it. So this is the end of how to use the contra voucher f4 
Now last question, last and final question is how to use a receipt voucher to record an entry. Receipt voucher. This is given in function key F6. Remember the function keys. F6 is the function key for receipt voucher. Receipt means any amount cash or check received. Whenever cash or check received it is called receipt voucher. The receipt voucher records all the receipts such as receipts from debtors, any income, refund of loans or advances given earlier, sale of fixed assets etc. Whenever cash is received it will be recorded in receipts voucher. So to get the receipts voucher creation screen the below steps should be followed. So what are the steps to show the screen of receipts? Receipts voucher screen. First step. Go to gateway of tally as usual step number one. Step number two. Then click on the select the accounting vouchers because we are opening the voucher. Then click on F6. F6 is for receipt voucher. Example, the company receives a bank advice that the interest has been credited to its deposit account. The company has received an advice from the bank that the banker has credited interest in his deposit account. So this interest is an income. This interest is an income. The so interest account will be created and bank account will be debited. So entry for interest received is bank account debit interest account credit so this is the receipt entry so we have to pass to it to create receipt voucher for this transaction one should create the ledger account of interest and bank just now i told you whenever you want to pass any entry in the voucher before passing entry in the voucher you must have the ledger accounts so here also interest account and bank account must be created before passing the voucher once these accounts are created, one can create the receipt voucher. That's it. So this is the end of unit number three, recording day-to-day -day transactions in ERP. So I have explained all the possible questions which may be asked in examination. So next video, we will start the next unit. That is unit number four. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. I'm waiting for your comments and specify from where you are, from which university, so that I can be able to get the data accordingly. I can prepare the videos for your benefit. And please do visit my second channel. The link I have given in the description. That is Hans Accounting Institute. Subscribe that channel also. Inshallah, we'll continue the next unit in the next video.